Excuse me, sir. What do you think about British monarchy? Monarchy? Well, I'm Irish, so, I mean, that's a silly question to ask me. Look at... OK, they're OK. They're not bad. They've been around a long time. And, um, well, at the moment, they haven't got a very good name, have they? All right. Where about in Ireland, you think? Uh, Dublin. Dublin? Yeah. All right. Look, at I like the Queen. She was brilliant, you know. I have to say, she was really good. Uh, but the rest of them, I don't really... Don't have any time for them. All right. You know? So you say you get rid of them? Well, maybe not get rid of them, but I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that would be unfair to say get rid of them. Um, no, I mean, that's, look, the Queen was great. That's that, that that's it, you know. But I think now it's time for a change. I don't know what needs to be done, but it's time for a change. You right. know, there's a lot of, you know, the, at the moment there's a lot of um, uh, living crisis and, you know, and we don't need... We don't really need them, you know, so we could use the money from the monarchy to put back into society. Okay, yeah. You know, yeah. so, but maybe not get rid of them. I mean, they are an institution, they've been there for a long time. <laughs> oh, is that the Polish dance, right? <laughs> Excuse me, folks, what do you think about British monarchy? British? Uh, like Queen and King, yeah. they should keep them or not? I don't like them. You busy? Sorry. What do you think about British monarchy? I don't know, sorry, bro. I'm always watching. All right. Excuse me. What do you think about British monarchy? Uh, we are from Spain, and we are a monarchy. Yeah, the same. You've got king and queen as well in Spain. Yeah. Yes. I'm a film director. Yeah. Film director. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so. <laughs> You've got a film director here, folks. I have no cards on me at the moment, but uh, if you give me your details, I yeah, can certainly. Yeah, definitely. You know, so what kind of films do you direct? Oh, everything. I've had a film on Sky. I did a lot of shorts. I've done about 120 short films. I've done music videos. I've done two feature films. But not, nothing really in mainstream. Where are you guys from? What country? I'm Polish. Oh, okay, dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Jak się imaś? Dobrze, a ty? Dziękuję. Yeah. So, All right. Are you, where are you, so you're living here, Shepard Bush? No, no. I live in uh, Ryslip, out in, out in West London. Right. Yeah. And how can we find your productions online? Uh, well, if you go on to my website, it's uh, www.fcekfilms.com. That's fecfilms.com. That's where well, you will see them. Yeah. My card. Give me your card. Give me your card, man. I love <laughs> it. What do you think about Brexit being Irish? Uh, well, look, it's, uh, when Ireland are still in Europe, so um, we're okay. But I live, this is my home now, the UK is my home, it's been my home for about 35 years and England's been very good to me, you know, you know I've always had a job here, I've always worked and English people are quite nice, you know, so, you know, uh, Brexit's a bit unfortunate, I think, you know. So are, you, are, you, are you dual nationality, Irish and British? No, no, no I, I'm just Irish, but I've been living here and my wife is French and my kids are half French, half Irish, English, you know, they're a mixture, so, uh, but look, Brexit, Brexit is Brexit, you know. It happened, so we can't go back over, you know, we can't go back over old ground. You know, it's happened. People voted for it, so, and they were right, you know. You know, the majority won, so, you know, in any case, in a democratic society, if the majority wants something, but then you've got to go with it, whether you like it or not. Yes. So, that's just how it is. I think other countries may follow suit as well, too, in the coming years. You know, I think, you know, there's probably Italy and... Poland possibly and Austria and some of these countries are beginning to there's a shift in in the political mainstream in these countries now so I think don't be surprised if another country uh, decides to leave Europe you All know right. so, did, you, did you vote in the referendum I did uh, I voted to stay I voted to stay my wife kind of kind of convinced me you know um, but when you look back now and you think oh my god the arguments for Brexit were kind of flawed but we all we can all look back at hindsight and go ah oh, yeah, I see what happened, but it's too late now. Right. It's too late. What's your name, by the My way? My name is Tom. Tom Begley. Tom, Tom yeah. Begley, right. Yeah. Okay, Tom. So another question was: Yes. Is there something? Tell us something you didn't tell your mum. <laughs> <laughs> I got you on this one. Eh? Uh, well, let me see now. Um, well, I, you know, I, I started smoking when I was about ten. You know, and see, my parents have a pub in Ireland. You know, we have a pub. Uh, it's a country pub and it's a shop and my dad was also the undertaker as well too and it was a small little village you know so you know pub and an undertaker at the same time yeah and, and a shop so we had everything in this little village it's a bit like the Bermuda Triangle yeah <laughs> so all your life you feed people you give them drinks and then you carry them out in a wooden suit 
Yeah, <laughs> but that's a coffin. You yeah. took care of the community, basically. We did it from A to Z. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from cradle to grave. We looked after everybody. You that's know. That's amazing. That's funny. So, so no, it's just fun. No, life is good. Life. Yeah, you, know, you have to look at the bright side of life and the positive things in life. You can't always look at the negative stuff. You know. So, yeah, uh, so what? Brexit's come and gone. Fuck it. <laughs> Excuse my French. <laughs> but Full men. That's it. That's it. And um, so I'm just wondering what you think of the transgender. What, the whole the, thing at the moment? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get my head around it. Okay. Yeah. I, I am from, um, I'm from a different um, uh, generation, so to speak, you know. So this whole transgender and everything and all these new things that are going on, I don't know. Uh, look, I don't know. Um, you have to get used to it. You need you time. Get, maybe. You need time to get used yeah, to it. Look, I'm, I'm sure there's something to it. And look, if if someone is happy being somebody else in a in a different body, then fine. I mean, who am I to say anything? You know, you know, who am I to say? You know, if you're happy dressing up in a woman, or a woman's happy dressing up as a man, or you want to change, like if, if it makes you happy, then fine. <laughs> what, what can I say? Do you think they should have? They should use the the ladies' toilet or the men's toilet, or they should have a, like a uni, other toilet ma toilets made for them? Well, look at I think maybe a unisex toilet give everyone a kind of a chance to kind of get used to all of this. So yeah, I mean, look, it's, look, do what makes you happy. But as long as you don't kind of force it on me or anybody else for that matter, then no, I'm fine with it. No, I'm fine. You know, I mean. Live and let live. <laughs> you know, we're already passing through this world. We don't, you know, we don't own. You know, we're passing through. You know, it's a leasehold. We will be gone in a couple of years. So, how are you doing, boss? <laughs> Good man. Um, yeah, so, you know, let people live, you know. And be kind as well, you know. Be, be kind to people. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry, I, I'm getting off track here. Cool, yeah. Okay, what do you think about independent Scotland? Um, well, look, at I don't know about independent Scotland. I mean, I do think that it's probably a little bit premature, you know. I mean, in one way, I think it's a little bit, just a little bit hypocritical because, you know, Scotland wanted to stay in Europe and now they want to leave the UK, you know. So, you know, I, I, look, I think Scotland should maybe stay for a little bit longer did, in the UK. Did you say Scotland vote to leave the EU? Uh, yeah. I don't think no, no, so. No, 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 no. Scotland didn't vote to leave the EU, sorry. But Scotland wanted to leave the UK. They voted to leave the UK. No, in the, in the last referendum, no, sorry, no, you're right, they didn't, but they almost did, N yes, nearly. Like yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry about that, yeah, it was a close call. But I mean, nearly half the population of Scotland want to leave the UK, and that's that's a lot of people. But again, you know, if you, the majority wins, you know, you have, if in, in a society, you know, a democratic society, you know, the majority, what they say, unfortunately, has to go. Do you think you should give money to homeless people? Um, I don't know. Now, listen, I think there are some people taking advantage of of homeless people and they're getting money and getting money for drugs. And I've seen that myself. And I've given money to certain people. Uh, and they've uh, they've gone and they've, um, I think, they bought drugs. Because I, I, when I came back, this happened to me down in Houston one time a couple of years ago. And I gave £10 to a girl who said she hadn't got enough money to get home. And I went for a meeting and I came back and I was getting back on the train and I saw her and she was doing the same thing to somebody else. So I just knew that it was drugs that she was buying. So give money to the homeless people? No, I don't think it's a good idea. But give them some place to stay and give them a start in life, you know, because some of them are quite good. They're decent people. And, you know, we can all fall in hard times. You know, you, me, any of us can, you know, it's just we're just we're one pay packet away from being poor and on the street. And th that's, how, that's how real this is, you know. So, no, don't give them money. But give them accommodation and give them a little start in life, maybe. Just help them, you know. Those who want to do well, you know, who are really um, keen on doing well, they will do. They'll get a job, they'll, you know, and, and, and they'll settle down. But some people slip through the net. And I think it's unfortunate. But no, don't give them money. But, but look after them in other ways, you know. But try and be kind to All people. Right. Try and be generous. Is there a lot of homeless people around Shepherd Bush? Oh, loads. Loads. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, in London there is loads of people. There's loads of homeless people. You just need to come round here in the evening or at night time, and you look in the doorways, yeah, and you can see that you know things are not good. Things are not good at all, you know. Uh, well, it's not just Shepherd's Bush. I mean, you go into some of the more of the salubrious parts of London, for example, London Bridge, and I work in London Bridge, and you see the amount of homeless people that are down there every day, every morning, every afternoon, every night, you know. 
it's every place. It's endemic. It's all over the country. And I'm sure the further out of London you go into the towns and cities up north, I'm sure it's worse up there because there's less employment. Mm-hmm. So it's a huge problem. It's a huge problem. massive problem. And it doesn't seem to be getting any better. So, you know, someone needs to get their finger out in government and get a hold of this. Tom, do you think Richie Sunak should go? Um, look at um, Richie Sunak. There'll be another Richie Sunak to come in after him. So um, I don't know. Look at I, they've made a mess of things. I think the Tories have made a little bit of a mess of things over the last couple of years. Um, uh, and should he go? Look, probably not until they can get someone a bit better. I don't know. I mean, I think Richie's a little bit. Um, he's 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 too far removed from uh, the actual coal face and from from reality I think so he's a bit far removed from reality look at he's one of the richest politicians in the UK if not in Europe you know so should he go look if, another Richie Sunak will come along <laughs> so I don't know you want Boris Johnson to come back uh, do I well look um, probably not <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I wish they would find someone good. I wish, you know, I wish they would find some leader, I don't care what party he's from, but some leader that could actually get a grip of all of this uh, and work out a list of priorities, you know, and get the economy back running again and just look after people and, 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 and just put a bit of effort into it, you know? That, that's all I'm asking, you know? And that's you, all anybody wants. Are you being affected by the crisis? Uh, lucky enough, I'm not really, you know, uh, I, I, I do okay, you know, I have a couple of jobs. Um, uh, so in terms of, you know, being able to pay my bills and pay the mortgage, yeah, I'm fine. But I, I know people who live hand to mouth, you know. So, yeah, I'm not affected directly, but indirectly, yes, I am, you know. So, yeah. Okay, thanks a lot, Tom, for the interview. And I will see you around. Dziękuję. Proszę bardzo. Okay, thank Do you. Yeah, right. Take care, I'll, I'll send you. Yeah.